What's up everybody, this is KG. Today I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing and review of the all clad stainless steel saute pan. Now this is the box that it came in and they call it the D3 saute pan. And if you turn it around to the back side, you will see a few details regarding this pan. But instead of reading them to you on here, when I open it up, I'll go into more detail on it. Now before I open this, I just wanted to mention that All Clad is made in the USA. It is a company known for high-end cookware, such as frying pans, and in this case, a saute pan. You can normally buy full entire sets, but this particular saute pan was bought by my dad. If you guys watch our cooking series, you know him as Chef Pops. So our plan is to start using this in our future videos as well. So let's open this up. So the first thing I see is it comes with a little booklet here. It kind of unfolds and you can read all the instructions about it. There you go, it's two-sided. So you got information on this side and on this side here. And here is the pan, comes wrapped in plastic. You can take that off. And this is the shiny brand new pan right here. Looks really nice. And lastly, in here, this will be the lid. Look at the box, let's open it up. So this is the lid wrapped in plastic again. And here you go, you got a shiny lid here, brand new. It's got a mirror finish on it, so you kind of got a glimpse of my camera there. So this is the pan right here. I just want to show you with the lid going on. And it fits on here perfectly. It looks really good. Beautiful. Nothing like a brand new saute pan. So the difference between a frying pan and a saute pan, it always comes with this extra handle here to help you lift it up when you have food in there. And if you need to transfer from point A to point B, I would say this pan has a bit of weight to it. It's not super heavy, but it is fairly heavy. It's not a light pan, that's for sure. So the interesting thing about the D3 pan, it has three layers of metal on it. It has what is called an induction steel exterior. It is a stainless steel, but it can cook on an induction cooktop and other cooktops as well. And then this has a middle layer that is fully aluminum. And aluminum is a great heat conductor, so it helps heat up the pan really nice. And then on the interior, there's another stainless steel layer, which they call an 18 over 10 stainless steel interior. And this type of finish helps it to be less sticky or more closer to a non-stick surface. But in this case, it is a natural stainless steel metal surface, so you don't have to worry about chemicals from those non-stick pans and things like that. The next thing I wanna show you is how the handle connects to the pan. It has two stainless steel rivets that are permanently installed in there, so this thing will pretty much be there for life. And you can see from the inside, it is fully installed and clamped, so both sides are in good, solid. Now this handle has a bit of a unique shape to it, so it has sort of like an indent here, so you know from when you're holding it, this, would, this rounded part underneath, if you look at that, it has a rounded part, so you know that's the bottom part, and this is the top part. So the handle does feel quite sturdy, and again, because this is a bit heavy, having this handle on the other side really helps. And again, this side is also riveted in, and you can also see that is finished up on the inside as well. And if you look at the bottom of the pan, it actually tells you the size. So this is a three quart pan. And one more thing is with that three layers of metal with the stainless steel, aluminum, and interior stainless steel, that goes at the bottom of the pan, but also up the sides. So that helps distribute heat evenly throughout this pan on the inside and on the sides, so everything cooks evenly throughout on this pan. Sometimes when you buy cheaper pans, you will see the bottom of the pan is actually a different construction, and the side of the pans are a lot thinner, so it's meant to cook mostly on the bottom and not on the side. So this one gives you an advantage of cooking all around in a very evenly distributed manner. So having a saute pan really gives you a lot of flexibility. 
because you can do a lot of different things with this. You can fry in here, you can braise in here, you can brown up your meat on both sides, and then you can even add in gravies in here and fill it up with some liquid. You can boil liquid in here. You can even do some shallow frying in this pan. It's very versatile. And with the lid, you can do some steam cooking as well. The other cool thing about this pan is that you can bake with it as well. This can go up to 600 degrees Fahrenheit in the oven. So for example, if you wanted to sear a little bit of salmon in here first on top of the stove, you could do that and then take it and put it in the oven and bake it till it's finished. And then you have a combination of frying and baking and you don't have to move it from one pan to another. So it's a very versatile pan to own. Now the price point on this pan is really expensive. All together with the discounted price and taxes in and delivered to our house, it came to about $200 Canadian. So that's definitely not a cheap price for a pan but it does have a lifetime warranty on it. And we did do a lot of homework before purchasing this. So it is a reputable company and there have been other places like American Test Kitchen who have done tests on all clad pans of different types and they really give good reviews on this pan. So we were really confident that it would serve us well when we went to purchase this. Now the only real way to know how well this pan works is to have Chef Pops himself try it out. So that's what I'm gonna do next. This is Chef Pops and I'm trying out the new saute pan. So I'll be frying some cutlets today and then I'll start by putting the heat on and I already have oil in this. I like this pan because of the capacity it has. We have some skillets which are not that big like this and it is about 11 inches in diameter and it is about two and a half inches inside height. And this can take a lot more than the skillets that we have been using. We'll be trying out many, many dishes on this. The oil is hot and I'm putting my cutlet in for the first one. This is the second cutlet. This is the third one. And I'll be cooking it about one and a half minute each side. It's nice spacious so I can move around my cutlets. And the way the cutlets are moving, this is a non-stick kind of uh, stainless steel. Now, they look they are almost done here, so I'm going to take them out. This is the first time I'm using the pan and uh, because of the thickness of the pan, it takes a little bit longer to heat up the oil. Uh, but other than that, uh, it's uh, very much like the skillets we have, been, we have been using. I'll get used to it. Looks good, very good. Good capacity. I can cook lots of things in this. I'm sure I'll be happy with that. Now let's cook my second batch. Because the pan is hotter, the cutlets are cooking quicker. You can see the color now. Second batch is now done. The cutlets are done. I like this pan. This pan is Chef Pops approved. So I hope this review was helpful for all of you guys and it helps you learn a little bit more about this product and lets you know whether this might be a good product for your kitchen as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so and make sure you hit the bell button so you're notified each and every time I post a new video. And remember to share this video with all of your friends. Take care for now and we'll see you all again next time. Peace out.